am joined now by Carl Dubost of Opera. Thank you so much for being with us. Appreciate Thank you. It. So from an optimization standpoint, how would you compare the state of browsers today to five years ago? Um, it has improved a lot and um, on many levels. Like uh, when people think about optimization, they often think about uh, um, technical optimization, but I think uh, the, the, the social landscape has improved a lot. Mm. The, the users, the, the people using uh, the, the browsers in their daily life for mm. doing actual things for their life uh, has improved a lot. So uh, more users, more need for optimization on the technical uh, side, more need for web standards uh, because uh, we need to, to have a, a common experience for, for everyone. So all of that has, uh, has, uh, has changed the landscape uh, tremendously. Like, um, if we look, for example, on the technical side, uh, you look at the performance at, uh, of a browser like three years ago and now, yeah. there's a tenfold yeah. uh, improvement in terms of speed. So it's, 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 it's amazing. On the web standard side, until uh, HTML5, there was no way to describe and to recover parse HTML page, uh, which was broken, and many web pages are broken on the web. Like people don't see it on their browser because yeah. we do the stuff for making a good experience to the browser. But the the, the, the websites are barely 95% of the browsers on the um, of the websites on the web are uh, broken. <laughs> That's not a good. Percentage. And so the parsers, uh, the the two the the web browsers. Uh, pass this broken markup and create an experience which is useful for the, for the users. So this needs powerful engines, needs uh, era recovery which is uh, uh, consistent across browsers mm -hmm. and uh, all of that has improved a lot. So yes, yes it has changed. And, and on the standard side? I mean are things uh, so looking good on the standard side? Yeah, uh, we, we had a period of time, so there's, uh, many people like to, to joke about uh, IE6 and uh, the pain it was uh, for, uh, for everyone. Sure. What, it, what it shows uh, basically is that if you let a browser solidified a little bit too long, the legacy code, the legacy bugs will be solidified too in the practices, in the, the practices of uh, web developers. And that creates uh, um, a, a big, damage for the evolution, for the progress of the web, for the speed and things like this. So what we see now is that IE is back in the, in the game. Yeah. All browsers are cooperating uh, uh, on a standard organization. They are working together. Yeah. They are on the same IOC channels, uh, exchanging information, yeah. uh, dealing like, oh, I implemented this and this like this. We have uh, this kind of issue. What, uh, what do you recommend? What do you want to do? People from different companies. No like people, peop, like there's always uh, this impression that at the marketing level, there's a big fight in between browsers. I, 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 I don't believe it. My, uh, it's funny because at my talk before, I said like, uh, the, browser war, the browser war is bullshit. <laughs> we are in a time of browser love. <laughs> and it's really, it's really that, like in, in the sense that the, the engineers, uh, the people really making the stuff in the browsers, are working together. They are doing the specs. So sometimes there's a bit of challenging competition, but like big twin friends, like, oh, ca can you jump? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Can, can, you, can you jump higher than me? Right. But that's all. Like right. basically, they are working in the same direction. Right. They all want one thing is to improve the experience, to have uh, uh, things which are fast to make, uh, for example, games to. to to have a good experience on the web. So that's kind of cool what's happening yeah. right, right now. How about on the mobile side? Is there enough competition right now between mobile So the, the, um, there's a distortion field in North America. Um, unfortunately, in, uh, people in North America think, when they think mobile, they think uh, smartphone, mm -hmm. and then they think uh, Safari uh, WebKit. And if you look at the, the map, uh, the market share of the mobile browsers in the world, what you see is a complete different landscape. First, the mobile, uh, the smartphones are not uh, in majority. Right. People are still using feature phone. Mm -hmm. The bandwidth, the bandwidth is super low for many people in the world. Mm -hmm. Like there are only a few places I've lived three years in Japan 
in Japan, the density of the population, the infrastructure of the, the network is, uh, is uh, small enough, so you will have big performances on your, on your mobile. It's not the case in many places in the world. Mm -hmm. So the, the, the mobile landscape is a lot more diverse than what the North American uh, people think it is. Mm -hmm. Another parameter which is super important to, to, to keep in mind, 2014. So, uh, 1-4, 2014, the number of mobile devices in use on, in the world will be more important than the number of desktop computers. In 2014. 2014. There's a switch. It means that people will use their yeah. devices in a very different way, in a very different manner, like the interaction, the context. The fact uh, you moving, the fact you you touch and not type uh, mm -hmm. and things like this uh, change a lot of things. So there is diversity. The big market share in the mobile world is still Opera uh, yeah. so far. People don't don't know it most of the time. But if you look at the world map of the the market share, you see big uh, spot of reds uh, in many countries in Africa, in Asia, and Southeast Asia. Um, also in Mexico, for example, it's Opera uh, which is dominant. Uh, and there's a few blue spots uh, here and there because of uh, Safari and uh, Chrome, but it's 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 not it's not that much. Right. Uh, so there's a lot of diversity. There's a lot of diversity in devices. There's diversity in browsers, but maybe not enough to leverage the 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 need for web standards. That said. Mm -hmm. The people working on the engines for the desktop are basically the same people working on the engines for the, uh, for the browsers on the mobile. Before, in the past, they were sometimes different products. Now it's the same product, mostly. Right. So every kind of uh, improvement which is made in the, in, uh, in the desktop world will be done also in the mobile world. And the, the, the CPUs have improved and things like this. So, it's getting better. Where, where it's not getting better, it's for the web developers. The web developers think in terms of sometimes native application instead of web application, mm -hmm. thinks in terms of only one device. Right. My, my word is simple. Do not ship to devices. Right. Ship to the web. Right. Like it's, it's, it's super simple. Shipping to devices is likely likely you will have a website which will not be working anymore in 18 months from now yeah. because the the rate of changes for for devices for mobile devices is 18 months mm -hmm. people are usually changing sure. Their, sure. their device so yeah like be, it's it's the responsibility of web developers now do the right thing right. so when we're talking about browsers, we generally mm. talk about computers, we mm -hmm. talk about phones, but what about things like gaming systems so. or set-top boxes? What type of opportunity is there there? Specifically for Opera, it's, it's interesting because Opera had the tradition and the history of being at many places where people don't know they are using Opera. Like, for example, on the Nintendo, there was a browser. Yeah. It was Opera. Right. In the uh, Wii, right? Mm -hmm. right. The, the TV set-up boxes uh, in Asia, mm -hmm. most of the time it's uh, Opera, which is working uh, as the, the browser engine. And when we talk about uh, Internet TV, we don't talk about a browser where we go see a website yeah. uh, on, on the TV. This, this can happen, but there's a lot more things than that. Like, on the on the mobile, we, we got used to use uh, the, the small applications smaller widgets that yep. we use on the mobile. This can be used also on, uh, on TV. Sure. It's, a, it's happening more and more, like where you can develop once an application which will be usable on the mobile and usable on the, oh, okay. on the TV. Right. You, you have only one development to do. And so uh, there's a specification which is called uh, WFC widgets, which basically is HTML, JavaScript, uh, and, uh, and images and things, uh, the, the technologies you know when you develop websites. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you can use them to do stuff on TV. So the, w the, the web and the internet 
will be available and is available on more and more type of devices. And uh, there will be like, it's, it's more a change of context, but you will continue to use the same, uh, the same website uh, across, for example, very simple thing. We are uh, in the booth of uh, O'Reilly. O'Reilly is doing books. You will start your book uh, reading it on a, on a Kindle. Then you will go to your mobile phone. You continue, sure. you change your context uh, to, and you approach your, uh, your computer or you need a quote and you need to copy it on another thing. There's this, all this transition mm -hmm. and your experience has to be the same uh, and yeah. all of them are experience like the user experience, not the, the visual experience. The user experience has to be the same. And basically, yes, the, 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 the devices will have the, the browsers uh, uh, across, the browsers will be accessible across devices. So last question I have for you. Yeah. How do you see browsers evolving over the next five years? Are we, are we going to get to the point where we're not even talking about browsers? So I should put my scarf yes, uh, on yes. top of my head. We'll, and, uh, we'll definitely like, hold you to this. Look at my crystal yes. ball. Right, right. <laughs> So, I'm, I, I don't have ID, a, a precise ID. What we can see is like trends of uh, things happening. Basically many, uh, if you look at what the Mozilla is doing and what Google is trying to do and what uh, Opera is already, has already done for a long time because of these devices, for example, mm -hmm. like a Nintendo and things like this, it's to have a Chrome-less browser. It yeah. means, so for, for the people to understand, Chrome-less is without the Chrome, like all the UI, yep. which is common on the, on, the, on the browser. And this is happening more and more. Once you remove the, the Chrome and the notion of browser as an application start to disappear, mm. comes the idea of the browser as an environment. Mm. An environment for development, an environment where the application, the application sits inside the browser. Mm -hmm. And this has a lot of consequences. This means that you create almost an OS inside the browser, right. which is not anymore a browser but because it became an OS itself. Right. Like for example, recently there was someone who created a kind of a, a port of Linux in, in, inside a inside the browser. Yes, like I it's, saw that. It's, it's, it's 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 funny, it's crazy, and things like this. It's it's not m meant to be uh, really useful, sure. but this is a sign. But somebody this, did it. Exactly. Right? Somebody did it. Yeah. yeah. This is a sign, but you can do it. It means that into the browser engine, because it has evolved a lot, many things will be done. At WFC, for example, there's work going on right now, which is called uh, done by the DV, um, device API working group. Mm -hmm. And uh, the, the work of this working group is basically it's like, let's create all kinds of uh, APIs to access devices stuff, camera, mm -hmm. mic, orientation, uh, movement of the, the device, mm -hmm. uh, context so you can imagine maybe light, like for example my keyboard is uh, changing yeah. its light right. depending on the light outside, uh, all this kind, the network, there's an API for the network, are you on a Wi-Fi network or on a 3G network, yeah. and how does it change my experience uh, with that? So, there are many kind of APIs. So once these APIs are integrated into the browser, you can do amazing stuff. You can uh, integrate the browser in many places where you are not imagined in the first place. Mm -hmm. And then you change usages and then things happen. So right. in five years, I don't know what it will be, but we can see trends that the integration with devices uh, is more and more important. And that means more context outside of the desktop where the, 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 the browser is available in many places and because the network is available in many places too, sure. there are plenty of usage right. to conquer. Interesting. Well, thanks so much for being with us. You're today. welcome. Thank it. you.